see our classroom, it's vibrant, there's a lot of energy there, and the students are choosing to be there. Hi. <laughs> and in this school, when you look at the makeup of it, you've got kids from all nationalities, backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds, and they're all coming here and they're coalescing around a love of language. And they're and they're and they're So I found a global language project in 2009 and really the spirit behind it was when I went into public schools I found that things like language and music and art were wholly missing and I really saw that it was important for Americans to not only have an understanding of the world around them but an appreciation. Olive. Say it again. Olive. What letter is that? A. Oh. And the beauty about this program at PS261 is we're starting when children are in kindergarten, they're five, six years old. People say, well, isn't learning Arabic hard? And I'm like, well, it's hard for us as adults. But for children, they're just repeating and they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> We work with underserved schools, and the reason that we do that is that a lot of times those students don't leave a five block radius. There's another world that's bigger than just the United States, and there's just a host of opportunities out there. I just feel like when they move moving forward, that they just have such a bright future ahead of them. Oh, yeah. Can you? Really good. <laughs> with mama? What F? What?